I call this meeting of the Williamsburg James City County School Board to order. May I please have a motion to certify closed session? Madam Chair, I certify that to the best of each member's knowledge, the Williamsburg James City County School Board, while in closed session, discussed only public business matters lawfully exempted from open meeting requirements as stated in Virginia law, and that only such public matters as were identified in the motion convening the closed meeting were heard, discussed, or considered. Thank you, Mr. Kelly. May I have a second? Second. Is there any discussion? Hearing no discussion, Ms. Sosa, will you call the roll, please? Mrs. Taylor? Aye. Mrs. Young? Aye. Ms. Cook? Aye. Mr. Kelly? Aye. Ms. Hummel? Aye. Ms. Ownby? Aye. Dr. Beers? Aye. The session has now been certified. That brings us to the Pledge of Allegiance. I'd like to invite uh, Jaden Mitchell up to lead us in the pledge, please. Jaden is a fifth grader at Clara Bird Baker Elementary School. Jaden, you want to come up? You can bring friends if you want. It's okay. You, guys want to, you want to come to the podium here, to the microphone? <clears throat> Whenever you're ready. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, gentlemen. <clears throat> Ms. Serza, will you take attendance, please? Dr. Beers. Here. Ms. Hummel. Here. Mr. Kelly. Here. Ms. Ownby. Here. Mrs. Taylor. Here. Mrs. Young. Here. Ms. Cook. Here. May I please have a motion to approve the agenda? Madam Chair, I move that we approve the agenda. Thank you, Ms. Hummel. Can I have a second? Second. Any discussion? Just uh, to let the public know, um, over the weekend, we had a computer glitch, and so the agenda, if you looked at the agenda over the weekend, it may not look the same as it does tonight. Um, and earlier today, we added, uh, re-added the approval of the capital year, uh, capital improvement plan. So I just wanted to be transparent about that. If there's no other discussion, will you call the roll, Ms. Serza? Ms. Ownby. Aye. Mrs. Taylor. Aye. Mrs. Young. Aye. Dr. Beers. Aye. Ms. Hummel. Aye. Mr. Kelly. Aye. Ms. Cook. Aye. All right, with that, we're uh, item 4.01, announcements and superintendent's reports. Dr. Heron. Good evening, Madam Chair. We are now fully into the Virginia Standards of Learning testing season, and I would like to take a moment to thank teachers, administrators, students, and staff for all of their hard work getting ready for state assessments. This is one of those many times when the school community is there to support our students' success. Students, we wish you well, and we know you will do your very best. Also, please join me in congratulating the Jamestown High and Barathon team for taking first place in the Area 3 competition, scoring first place in soils, aquatics, forestry, and oral presentation. We send our support to the team as they compete at the state competition on May 20, 20th and 21st at Farnham College. That's all of the announcements this evening, Madam Chair. Thank you, Dr. Heron. Ms. Zumbi? I wanted to give a quick update. I attended the Special Education Advisory Committee meeting last week. They are currently working on their annual report to our board and um, kind of formalizing their priorities for next year. They plan to definitely serve as advocates, not only for children with disabilities in our division, but for the entire division, particularly as it relates to um, educational funding. And they're looking forward to learning more about best practices with regard to inclusion at, at multiple levels, K-12. Thank you. Anyone else? Okay. If not, we'll move on to board recognition, recognitions. <clears throat> Thank you, Madam Chair. Tonight we recognize WJCC staff as well as a few of our valued business partners and volunteers. Jamestown Principal Dr. Kathy Worley has been named the 2018 Outstanding High School Principal of the Year by the Virginia Association of Secondary School Principals, VASSP. Annually, VASSP awards this prestigious honor to one middle school and one high school principal. The application process includes a nomination by peers or superintendent, committee review of applications, and an interview by a panel of principals. Dr. Worley is credited for outstanding community partnerships, astute awareness of current and emerging issues facing students, 
and a passion for improving the learning environment at Jamestown High. Dr. Worley, we are excited about your accomplishments this evening. Congratulations. <laughs> Now we turn our attention to the Finance Department, who received the Meritorious Budget Award for the 2017-18 Budget Submission. This honour is awarded by the Association of School Business Officials International, and the division has been recognised for the last 12 years for this award. The programme promotes and recognises excellence in the presentation of the school budget. Would Ms Barnes, Chief Financial Officer, and any members of the finance team present tonight Please join us up front to be recognized. PTA Council President Michael Willen has been named a recipient of the National PTA's Life Achievement Award. This distinguished honour is given to committed leaders who passionately advocate for the education and well-being of children. PTA promotes the collaboration of family, schools and communities. <laughs> Hugs all around. WJCC appreciates and recognises Mr Willen for his partnership, passion and advocacy as a leader of the PTA Council. And Michael has already joined us up front. Congratulations, Michael. <laughs> This evening, we are honoured to recognise three WJCC business partners for being named to the 2018 Virginia School Boards Association Business Honour Roll. The ongoing commitment and support they give to help our students in schools be successful is very much appreciated. As your business is called, I would ask representatives here tonight to join us up front and remain until each business has been called. First of all, Corsix Precision Glass, and I believe Mr. Alan Graham is with us this evening. <clears throat> Our partnership with Corsix Precision Glass is integral to the success of the division's <clears throat> manufacturing day. As one of its originating partners, Corsix opens their doors to allow students to tour their facility and learn firsthand the 21st century skills needed in jobs today. Mr. Graham, the president, assists the school division also through his service on the Superintendents of Business Advisory Council. Our next uh, representative, three local businesses, developed a program to thank teachers for their contributions to students and the Williamsburg community. And uh, initiated by Bob Smolko of Remax, the Honour Thy the Educator 11th Commandment Luncheon has become an annual appreciation event for schools and departments. In partnership with Keith Freeland of Movement Mortgage and Chef, Chef, Chef Ken Brown of Fat Tuna Grill, this trio also supports our economic and finance, personal finance classes as guest speakers. So Remax Central Realty and Bob Smoko has just joined us at the front. Congratulations and thank you. Our third business partner is Walmart Import Distribution Center, and Ms. Yvonne Govia is here this evening. Please join us. Walmart Distribution Center also partners with us on Manufacturing Day, offering students outreach opportunities that broaden their academic experiences and provides insights into career opportunities. Walmart Distribution also supports other school-based and division initiatives. Not only do we value and depend upon partnerships such as these to expand opportunities for students, but we are also thankful that we can highlight their contributions to the school division. So thank you so much for your support of our schools.
Outstanding Volunteer of the Year program allows the division to showcase one dedicated volunteer for each of our schools. These volunteers epitomize WJCC's core values in their volunteer work by contributing their time, talents, and skills to the learning process. We are grateful for their unwavering support and strong sense of advocacy towards our students' success. As I call your name, please come forward to be recognized and stay up front until everyone has joined you. First of all, from Clara Bird Baker, April Scroggie. From DJ Montague, Jennifer German. From J.B. Blit and Connie Viscocki. From James River, Jennifer Treber. From Laurel Lane, Mary Ann Cody. Oh. <laughs> From Matoka, Pat Woolham. From Matthew Whaley, Connie Williams. <laughs> From Norge, Megan Rodriguez. From Stonehouse, Michelle McLean. <laughs> From Berkeley, Megan Brewer. From Lois S. Hornsby, Tyler Skelton. <laughs> Keep moving down. From Tuano, Dr. Stephen Heston. From Jamestown, Eric Donkaski. <laughs> From Lafayette, Eric Stone. Like Eric Stone. <laughs> thank you, thank you, Kathy, for yes. doing that. <laughs> And from Warhill, Lisa Rockhart.
Oh, do you have a? to tell Eric Stone that I retirement, like to... retirement uh, suits him. <laughs> he said he had it on his calendar. For <laughs> Thank you again to all our outstanding volunteers. We truly value the contributions you helped to make our students successful. Uh, Madam Chair, that concludes our recognitions this evening. Thank you, Dr. Heron. You should have retired a long time ago. You got a lot better looking. Okay. Next up is School Spotlight. Yes, and we'd like to welcome this evening uh, Clara Bird Baker and their proud principal, Mr. Mike Hurley. Sorry. Okay. All right, so we're teaching them all the skills that is necessary for success. Dressing sharply, looking somebody in the eyes, treating each other with respect. Um, and Pastor Hammond has been the, the brainchild and the, the chairman of the board of this. He meets with, with our students on a, on a regular basis, and they do a variety of things. Number one, there's Pastor Hammond teaching them just life skills. Let me go back. There's Pastor Hammond again, and Pastor Hammond, I'm going to give you a chance at the very end to, to say your part. But I wanted to get to the important part. One of the things that we taught them how to do was tie and tie. And I think all, all the men in this room remember the first time, or the first hundred times we tried. All right, so I grabbed two of my young people, Eli and Everett, if you take a step forward. And Eli is, I'm sorry, Everett is very, like, very reluctant, but he's going to show you, okay, if you would take off your tie how successful he was. This was a That's skill, a pressure, and he was over the, and I actually drove him tonight, and he's practicing in the car, and he's practicing, and he's like, the turn, I got it, we're ready. So every, would you show everyone your dressing for success skill? Mr. Hurley, I want one of those ties. <laughs> well, oh, one of the ties that <laughs> yeah. Right. Nice job, right. As you can see, we're already on the path to success. Now, Pastor Hammond, I, I thank his patience because that took a lot of time. Did a nice job, though. All right, so there we have our, our if you can see the pictures, we had our, our first session was our, our Cat in the Hat Day. Um, and there we are, we're practicing tying our ties on each other. And I'm going back and forth, and there's Pastor Hammond again, showing them the dressing for success. And there's Jamari, the finished product. All right. I'm, I picked Jamari because our next skill, and I, if I can ask Jamari to step up, please. All right. Justin, step up, please. Our next skill was actually greeting somebody. So how do how to approach an adult, look them in the eye, put a firm handshake out, and you know, and basically speak with confidence. So I'm going to demonstrate what I showed these gentlemen, and what actually Pastor Hammond showed these gentlemen, and we practice. Anyone who comes in the building, 
any adult that comes to the building, we have our fifth graders, these gentlemen right here, are actually tasked with greeting those people. So I'm going to demonstrate that right now. <laughs> so now that we're addressing the success of the team, life skills to look somebody in the eyes, to have respect for yourself, have respect for yourself, and to have confidence in what you're saying. The next part there, you can see our gentleman right there. There's our gentleman greeters. I'm the top. Okay, and they're looking sharp. But our last part that we did, and probably the, the most, and uh, Miss Washington and Pastor Hammond set this up. And uh, I laugh because I know what the boys are about to go through. If any of us has been through a cotillion, okay? <laughs> These gentlemen sat through a cotillion class, okay, of how to eat appropriately, what uh, utensils to use first, okay? And so we actually had the food brought in and cooked, okay? And so I've asked three of my gentlemen to step up, Anthony, Wyatt, and uh, Jordan, will you guys step up, please? And Anthony, I'm going to ask you if you can just give us a couple words about cotillion or, or eating at our table manners. You put your two spoons in X so they know you're not finished with your food. All right, so the waitress, yeah, so right. she won't take your plate. Wyatt and Jordan, could you give me something you learned? The big forks for the dinner and the smaller ones for the salad. That's correct. Good job, gentlemen. I'm sorry, Wyatt? <laughs> Spoon on the top of the dessert. <laughs> the most important thing. But I asked the gentleman, and you'll see in the next picture, I asked the gentleman, was the food actually good? And you can see that they actually... There's the food before. I'll go back. So there's the, their, their dinner. You go back and you see it's almost all gone. <laughs> so, of course, these young gentlemen were, were starved during the day. Even the um, asparagus is gone. But at the end, I, I thought the Walt Disney quote, and I'll, get, I'll give Pastor Hammond a minute just to speak, but I thought this was probably what summarized our best, our gentlemen's club, uh, prep club. All our dreams can come true if we have the courage to pursue them by Walt Disney. And Pastor Hammond, you're the, uh, the steward of this club, so I'd like you to say a couple words about the gentlemen. I know you want to do this, but you have to stand up. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you, Mr. Hurley. Any board members have any comments or questions? Dr. Beers, did you? Uh, yeah, I, actually, uh, Jim and I were just talking. Uh, you ladies probably don't appreciate this, but this is a guy thing, and, and uh, I really support it. I think it's really great, really great. I mean, I was impressed with the tie, uh, tying demonstration because he tied his three fewer times than I tied mine tonight. So <laughs> I was uh, very impressed with that. So. Great job. Anybody else? Pastor Hammond, I'd like to thank you very much. I don't see where you Oh, there you are. Sorry. Thank you very much for your, your time and dedication in helping our children. It takes, a, it takes a community, and we really appreciate it. I will say that um, when my children were younger, if I said the word cotillion, all of a sudden their behavior got better. So, um, so I'm, I'm, yeah, <laughs> so that's wonderful. Anything else? Well, thank you, Clara Bird Baker, for coming out and sharing with us your your wonderful efforts and thank you gentlemen um, good luck to you and we look forward to seeing you grow up and stay wonderful gentlemen and maybe one day you can teach me to tie a tie I'd like to learn right. <laughs> nothing else um, we'll move to citizens comments Ms. Hummel, will you please read the instructions? We have one speaker card tonight. One speaker card. Okay. Um, this is the time when citizens who have submitted speaker cards are invited to address the board. Speakers are asked to come to the podium when their names are called, state their name for the record, and direct their comments to the chair of the board. Each speaker is allocated three minutes. Time cannot be yielded to another speaker. 
Personnel matters are not discussed in open school board meetings, and we ask that you refrain from making reference to specific individuals. The board is interested in hearing all of your comments fully and requests that citizens refrain from verbal outbursts, applause, or any other type of demonstration. Although the board does not respond to your comments at this time, please know that we are listening and we appreciate your time. Thank you for adhering to these guidelines, and Madam Chair, my directions are concluded. Thank you, Ms. Hummel. Ms. Ombi? Kim Hunley. Good evening, Kim Hunley, President of the Education Association. So I'm really excited. We have another budget under our belt, fully funded by the Board of Supervisors. I thank Kara for giving me a call. Um, I did get a lot of teachers um, to email and talk to their um, Board of Supervisors, and I know that our voices were heard and it made a dis difference. Um, also, last month it was exciting to, for me because I went to the VEA convention and um, I got this shirt that says VEA building power going on the offense. And so, as you know, I'm not a defensive person, so it's nice to know that offense wins games too. So the one highlight, though, um, of our meeting was um, we saw a video clip of some of the mass shootings that, were at the, at, that have happened through the course of years. And um, it was very powerful. Different um, teachers stood up and we said no more. And we put in a lot of um, new business items to help keep our, safe, our schools safe. And I know a lot of them will probably be filtering down through you all. But it's um, exciting for me to know that we uh, at Williamsburg have safety as a main concern and issue here. And even to see the board add more um, police officers and things like that, that really makes us feel a lot more at ease. So I've presented each of you with a no more button tonight. Just, um, just to stand up to say that we will not tolerate um, violence in our schools. And um, I have five buttons left if anyone wants them and chocolates. So I will put them back there and <laughs> if anyone would like them. Um, again, I thank you on behalf of my executive board and all the teachers for all that you do to support us. And we hope that you know that you can call on us if you need support from us as well. And. Um, I think I'll see you next month, and then I'm on vacation. <laughs> so thank you. Thank you, Ms. Hunley. All right. That brings us to the consent agenda, which includes 7.01 approval of minutes from April 10th, 2018, April 17th, 2018, and May 8th, 2018. Financial report and monthly bills and payroll for April 2018. Personnel actions as presented and retire policy IIBA teachers aides. Can I have a motion, please? Madam Chair, I move that we approve the consent agenda as presented. Thank you, Mrs. Young. Can I have a second? Second. Right. Any discussion? Hearing none, will you call the roll, Ms. Serza, please? Ms. Hummel. Aye. Mr. Kelly. Aye. Ms. Ownby. Aye. Mrs. Taylor. Aye. Mrs. Young. Aye. Dr. Beers. Aye. Ms. Cook. Aye. Thank you. Uh, that brings us to action items for the evening. The first one is adopt adoption of um, the amended fiscal year 2019 operating budget. Before I ask for a motion, uh, I'd like to uh, make a few, a couple disclosures. Mr. Kelly? As a member of the school board of Williamsburg, James City County, I acknowledge that I have an interest in the fiscal year 2018-19 school budget because my wife is an employee of the WJCC schools. However, I believe that I am able to participate in the consideration of and vote on the budget fairly and in the public interest. Thank you, Mr. Kelly. And I'd like to add that as a member of the School Board of Williamsburg, James City County, I acknowledge that uh, I have an interest in the fiscal year 2018-2019 school budget because I'm an employee of the Williamsburg Health Foundation. However, I believe I'm able to participate in the consideration of and vote on the budget fairly and in the public interest. So with that, may I please have a motion uh, for the adoption of the amended fiscal year budget? Madam Chair, I move approval of the, I move adoption of the amended fiscal year 2019 operating budget in the amount of $149,421,000. $523. Thank you, Mr. Kelly. Can I have a second? Second. Thank you, Tummel. Dr. Heron, would you like to present some information before we go to discussion? Madam Chair, yes. Uh, Ms. Barnes has a, just a summary of the budget again for the, for the board and for the public before you, you take a vote on the budget this year. Thank you, Ms. Barnes. Good evening, Madam Chair, other board members, and Dr. Heron. Um, 
As you are most likely aware, the James City County Board of Supervisors approved its budget on May 8th, and the Williamsburg City Council approved its budget, uh, its fiscal year 19 budget, on May the 10th, and they approved the amount for the school division that was indicated in the proposed budget that we presented to them in, in March at the joint meeting. So the final results submitted to both administrations included um, a request of an additional $46,695 for an additional FTE, which would enable the division to restore the, the supplemental pay on the 10th of each month. So we were able to find the funding uh, for this initiative upon making a final review of the regrades that, that came forward on the class and compensation study. And the recommended fiscal year 19 general fund budget broken out by category is, is in your uh, packet and it amounts to $137,808,944. And you can read the, that by category. I don't think you need me to read each of the figures. And then broken down by fund, the total budget um, excluding the capital improvement plan is $149,421,523. Thank you, Ms. Barnes. Does anyone have any comments or questions? Um, I would like to just thank uh, the James City County Board of Supervisors and the City Council for their support of this budget the one that Dr. Heron presented and staff's work to, um, to make sure that we're able to provide supplemental pay next year to our employees that I think was a very important priority of the board. I think uh, allowing to, the rebenchmarking <coughs> is also another um, key uh, focus of, of the budget in addition to providing raises. And I'd just like to comment that this is, I think, the first time in my memory that we've been in this position. And so um, I don't take that lightly. So I'd also like to thank um, the localities for investing, or the city specifically for investing in more SROs. That's also gonna make a big difference next year. And I'd like to thank everybody who um, contacted the Board of Supervisors and City Council in support of those positions, the SRO investment in addition to the raises and the rebenchmarking and, and supporting our budget in full, and also for setting aside dollars in support of public education infrastructure in the future. So those voices were heard um, to, um, yeah, to Ms. Hunley's point, and thank you for not wearing your boxing gloves today. I appreciate that. Um, but anyway, uh, I just wanted to make those comments before we take a vote on that. Is there anything else? Ms. Hunley? I would like to thank you as chair of the board for your unceasing advocacy <coughs> on behalf of getting this budget approved by our funding agent. Team effort, for sure. So anyway, with that, Ms. Serza, will you call the roll, please? Mrs. Taylor? Aye. Mrs. Young? Aye. Dr. Beers? Aye. Ms. Hummel? Aye. Mr. Kelly? Aye. Ms. Ownby? Aye. Ms. Cook? Aye. Our budget is adopted. And that brings us to 8.02, the adoption of the amended five-year capital improvement plan for fiscal year 2019, fiscal year 2023, in the amount of $56,566. $1,870. Can I have a motion before we begin discussion? Madam Chair, I move approval. I move adoption of the amended five year capital improvement plan for fiscal year 2019 through fiscal year 2023 in the amount of $56,556,870. Thank you, Mr. Kelly. Can I have a second, please? Second. Thank you, Mrs. Young. Dr. Heron? Thank you, Madam Chair. As the board's aware, we are voting just on next year's capital improvement plan, and Ms. Barnes is going to take us through some of the changes that were made in what we presented and what has been brought forward this evening. Thank you, Dr. Heron. Good evening again. Um, along with the passage of the operating budgets, our funding partners have also approved the fiscal year 19 capital improvement plan. And in a nutshell, the city and the county have approved all of our proposed uh, fiscal 19 projects and have moved the entrance redesigns up from fiscal year 20 and 21 to uh, fiscal year 19. And any variances that you see in this presentation, they're reflected um, from the rounding uh, that, we, that we have to do when we apply the percentages of student population to the localities. 
So at the elementary school level, the replacement of the HVAC unit at Laurel Lane was approved uh, at Matthew Whaley, the chiller and the hot water heater, as well as the parking lot expansion. So the total for the elementary school projects was $4,646,534. At Berkeley Middle School, uh, funding for the auditorium seating as well as the partial roof replacement was approved, and the total for that is $464,500. At the high school level, uh, the HVAC replacement was approved for Jamestown High School, and at Lafayette, the roof replacement as well as the main electrical switch gear, the Westinghouse electrical panel, and the exterior sewer line replacement projects were approved. And so the total approved there was $8,833,119. So the division-wide projects uh, that were approved were the five additional buses uh, for the opening of James Blair Middle School and the work on our parking lots and playground equipment. So the total for the division-wide projects is $955,012. So in our original CIP budget, we had but included the entrance redesign for Laurel Lane in fiscal year 21. James River Stone House and Tawano entrance redesigns were applied to the fiscal year 20 budgets. Both the city and the county felt that the need justified moving the entrance redesigns up to fiscal year 19. So the total approved for the entrance redesigns is $645,214. So, Williamsburg James City County Schools, we approved the fiscal year 19 CIP budget at $15,119,108. The city and the county approved $15,544,379. So the difference between the two is $425,271, and that's primarily for the entrance redesigns that were moved to fiscal 19. And you're recommending we accept those funds? I'm sorry. You're recommending we accept this. Oh, yes, ma'am. <laughs> so as you can see, uh, the overall effect on the funding for the next five years is a reduction of $171,125. Um, this is primarily related to, well, the fluctuations you see are going to be re primarily related to the school expansions. Um, all design and construction for expansions has been included in fiscal year 21, simply because it's, it's a placeholder until we until the board makes the decision how we would like to proceed. And also, it is, it's much less expensive for the funding partners to go out to bond for a large amount than several smaller amounts. So the only projects that weren't included in this, in the county and city's funding, were that for the pressure washing and refinishing of the metal roof at Lafayette, and then some concrete repairs. Everything else was approved for the five years. So, And those items, of course, can be resubmitted or reconsidered at a, at a later time. So the total amended budget is the $56,556,870. Were any of the items that were not included of concern, you know, imminent concern? I believe they felt that they were probably at a level that we may be able to accomplish some of them in the operating budget. Any questions or comments from Ms. Barnes? Um, so those two, those two projects were basically the, the reduction in the 2020 budget, because if we move the 400,000 or so for the school redesigns from 2020 to 2019, we're still um, almost a million short in 2020. So were those, that those two projects that changed 2020? Well, the 2020, of course, you had the, the uh, design factor for the entrance, or I mean for the um, expansions. So that was a large portion of it as well. But okay, so that moved out to 2021? Right, that moved to 2021. Okay. So, um, so I do appreciate uh, moving those uh, redesigns forward. Uh, I take it operations doesn't ha isn't concerned about implementing any of those projects, because now they have four new projects to do. You're good, right, Marcellus? <laughs> yeah, I thought so. Okay, okay, uh, um, and then one last thing. While, we are, while we're approving a five-year capital plan, only 2019 is funded. Yes, sir. Thank you. 
Anything else? I would just, I'd like to echo Mr. Kelly's um, comment about moving up the um, re entrance redesigns and uh, with the focus on security. I, I think that was, it's certainly appreciated. And um, I just also, commenting on the Jamestown HVAC and the Lafayette roof replacement, those are not small ticket items. And this community has uh, historically invested in keeping our facilities nice. And compared to other divisions, our facilities are in excellent condition. We've had a study that has indicated that, and I just wanted to thank our localities for that because uh, it's, it's not cheap. It's a wonderful facility. Any other comments or questions? Okay. Serza, it's been moved and seconded. Will you please call the roll? Ms. Ownby? Aye. Mrs. Taylor? Aye. Mrs. Young? Aye. Dr. Beers? Aye. Ms. Hummel? Aye. Mr. Kelly? Aye. Ms. Cook? Aye. Ourselves a CIP. Thank you Thank very you. much, Ms. Barnes. All right, 8.03 is salary schedules. May I have a motion, please? Madam Chair, I move that we approve the pay scales and classification book for fiscal year 2018-19 as presented. Do you have a second, please? Second. Any comments or discussion, questions for staff? All right, hearing none, Ms. Serza, will you call the roll, please? Mrs. Taylor? Aye. Mrs. Young? Aye. Dr. Beers? Aye. Ms. Hummel? Aye. Mr. Kelly? Aye. Ms. Ownby? Aye. Ms. Cook? Aye. Motion passes, brings us to 8.04, the annual contract renewal book. May I have a motion, please? Madam Chair, I move that we approve the annual contract renewal book for fiscal year 2018 to 2019 as presented. Thank you, Mrs. Young. May I have a second? Second. Thank you. Any comment, questions, discussion of any kind? All right, hearing none, Ms. Serza, will you call the roll? Ms. Hummel? Aye. Mr. Kelly? Aye. Ms. Ownby? Aye. Mrs. Taylor? Aye. Mrs. Young? Aye. Dr. Beers? Aye. Ms. Cook? Aye. Motion passes. Brings us to 8.05, school bus replacement purchase. May I have a motion, please? Chair, I move that we approve the purchase of replacement school bus from Sunny Merriman with a cost of uh, $108,406. Thank you, Ms. Ombe. May I have a second, please? Second. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Kelly. Any discussion or questions? Seeing none, Ms. Serza, will you call the roll, please? Mrs. Young? Aye. Dr. Beers? Aye. Ms. Hummel? Aye. Mr. Kelly? Aye. Ms. Ownby? Aye. Mrs. Taylor? Aye. Ms. Cook? Aye. Great. The motion passes. Um, that brings us to item 8.06, school, school bus purchases for opening of James Blair Middle School. Can I have a motion, please? Madam Chair, I move that we approve the purchase of five additional buses which were included in the fiscal year 2019 CIP from Sunny Merriman Incorporated in the amount of $542,030. Thank you, Mr. Kelly. Can I have a second, please? Second. Thank you, Ms. Ombi. Any discussion or questions? Hearing none, Ms. Serza, will you call the roll? Mrs. Taylor? Aye. Mrs. Young? Aye. Dr. Beers? Aye. Ms. Hummel? Aye. Mr. Kelly? Aye. Ms. Ombi? Ms. Cook? Aye. I'm going to open the Blair with five new buses. That's wonderful. 8.07, purchase of elementary and high school student devices. Can I have a motion, please? Madam Chair, I move that we approve purchase request for elementary and high school student devices from Lenovo in the amount of $527,452. Thank you, Mrs. Young. Can I have a second, please? Second. Any questions, comments? Question? Ms. Serza, will you call the roll, please? Mr. Kelly? Aye. Ms. Ownby? Aye. Mrs. Taylor? Aye. Mrs. Young? Aye. Dr. Beers? Aye. Ms. Hummel? Aye. Ms. Cook? Aye. All right, motion passes. That brings us to board member comments and requests. Dr. Beers, do you have anything for this evening? No, it's just to say that I, uh, I, re I really appreciate the support from the city council and the board of supervisors um, in basically um, supporting full funding for our division this year. Thank you, Dr. Beers. Mr. Kelly? I will agree with Dr. Beers. Um, feels like we were just together last week, but uh, the, um, <laughs> I, I enjoy this time of the year as, with the recognitions of uh, our volunteers and those who support our school system uh, from the community, 
Uh, we're, we're getting ready to go into um, the GED completion ceremonies and the graduation ceremonies. And we have tomorrow, we have, uh, or Thursday, we have retirement and uh, long service pin recognition. And I, I, I enjoy this time of the year in uh, celebrating the, uh, the successes of our school system and what makes our school system good. So, thank you. Mrs. Young? Uh, yes, I agree with uh, Dr. Beers and uh, Mr. Kelly about, um, about it. I want to thank the City Council and the Board of Supervisors for supporting uh, our need, needs budget and appreciate their efforts on the behalf of all of our students. Uh, I also want to thank the student um, who invited me to uh, participate today and visit uh, at Hornsby Middle School. Uh, Ms. Berry had them do a, um, a number of presentations on environmental issues. They were very well done, and I want to applaud the students for their hard work. I hope I didn't give any of them a heart attack because I asked them some interesting questions or mentioned things. But I do appreciate their hard work, and things were very well researched. Um, and Ms. Berry did an outstanding job, and the, the, the class was wonderful and had a great time today. So, thank you. Ms. Hummel? Um, I just wanted to also thank our funding agencies for um, supporting the school system and, and also just it's very nice to be in a, a different kind of economic um, uh, standing, I guess I would say, for our community so that we, we aren't having to make these horrible decisions but to cut here and there of our, um, our teachers and our bus drivers and our support staff and our administrators. The, the raises that they do. Thank you. I, I too would plan to thank um, the Dame City County Board of Supervisors and the City Council um, for investing, choosing to invest in our school, uh, school division and to thank the community for um, echoing their desire for um, our funding partners to invest in the school division and wanted to thank our students from Clarebird Baker. Um, appreciate their willingness to stand up here and demonstrate the skills that they've learned. Um, it's hard to stand up in front of a group of people and I really enjoy the school spotlights. Um, that's, that's a highlight for me to, to get a little bit of, of what's happening in each of our schools because each of our schools has pockets of excellence and so it's nice to, to highlight that and, and share that with the community. Thank you. I'd like to, um, just speaking about the budget and the investment that we've made in our staff this year, it is my hope that we can do that year over year so that because our neighboring uh, jurisdictions in some cases exceeded 3% raises and so this is not a one-time investment then we can kind of sit back and not, not think about it. We have to make an investment in our staff year over year so that our um, pay doesn't fall behind. We're, um, that we need to do. We're very, very lucky to have, um, you know, to not suffer from teacher shortages, but that's not going to last forever if we don't um, stay diligent about investing in the people who, who make our division great. So I just want to say that, that my eye is looking out to next year already, even though we just adopted a budget today. Um, anything else? Um, upcoming events, on the 16th of May, we have a student advisory committee at 3 o'clock in the Media Center at Warhol High School. On the uh, 17th of May, we have the retirement and service pin ceremony at 5 o'clock in the Matoka Woods Room at the School of Education. Um, on the 23rd of May, we have the policy committee at 8.15 a.m. in room 309 at the annex at Central Office. On the, also the 23rd of May, we have the 21st Century and Career Ready Advisory Committee in room 309 of the Annex at the Central Office. And then the School Liaison Committee is on May 25th at 7.30 a.m. in room 300 in the Annex at Central Office. Our upcoming meetings, on June 5th, we have a closed session beginning at 5 p.m. in room 309 at the Annex at the School Board and Central Office, followed by a work session at 6.30 that, that night in room 300. And then on June 19th, we have a closed session beginning at 5.30, also in the annex. So I, both of our meetings are in the annex that month, Ms. Serza, is that correct? At this time, yes. And then followed, that's at 5.30 on the 19th of June, and followed by um, our organizational meeting and work session um, at 6.30. And if there's nothing else, that brings our meeting to a close.
you, you'll feel so good about yourself. You tell them. You can't change your past, but you can definitely change your future. That makes me so happy, I'm ready to bust out a dance. Mr. Trejo, can I transfer this guy to you? My gentle technique isn't really working. You need something a little more... Persuasive. Yes! You listen, and you listen good. Hey, where's my sandwich? Terry? Terry! Take it from me to King DMC. It's a real cool thing to get your GED. Get that diploma! Now hold on and we'll find you three GED classes. Capiche? Whatever motivation you need, we've got a pep talk for you. Get your GED pep talk and find free classes at yourged.org. When you throw away money on wasted electricity, you're throwing away everything you could have bought with it. Saving energy saves you money. Learn more at energysavers.gov. Hey, I'm Anderson Cooper. As a parent, you want to make sure that your child knows how to deal with bullying when they see it happening. And chances are they want to help, but they don't really know how. I'll teach them that the best thing to do is calmly walk away, find a teacher or other adult, and speak up. And do your part. Be that adult they can talk to and trust will listen. Join me to help stop bullying. Go to stopbullying.gov to find out more. It wasn't too long after we relocated here to Virginia and Ruther Glen uh, when we set up our foundry um, that I found an, an article in the paper that documented uh, the work of the Jamestown um, archaeological team. They found these three bell fragments that sort of piqued my curiosity. Um, and there was some speculation that this once may have been from a bell that was in